Mwezi Kenya, grain reserves and effective irrigation systems ensure ample food production. And what does this mean? It means low food prices and has food for everyone. In India, I traveled to a village and I met a woman named by Rhea Roy. She was educated and she received the confidence and skills to become a productive member of society due to the pro programs being funded by USAID. In Bolivia, I saw a small child with a broken arm who was not able to be seen by the local physician because the lines were out the door and the physician only came so often. With U.S. foreign assistance, this child would have been able to get the proper health care that he needed. When I travel in China, I often see a lot of children with disfigurements, um, you know, really big issues that could be easily preventable. And that's why I think about good foreign aid, because when you have good investments, smart investments, then you start seeing real results with easily preventable and treatable diseases. In Pakistan, I witness kids in my family's neighborhood go to school in my neighbor's front yard. We have schools, teachers, and supplies here in the U.S., but this community can't even afford a place for education. We need USAID to help these children. In this country, we teach our, our students that we are citizens of a larger system and that we should be globally aware. The United States Foreign Aid teaches children in the Amazon Basin that they are also citizens of a larger system by providing them that same education. Foreign assistance matters because as a global family, we should not let our children go to bed hungry. It helps our future generations. It empowers young people like me. It builds a more stable world. It promotes American values. It makes sense. We are young Americans, and we know that investments in U.S. foreign assistance should be protected. Take action now.